One more thing about one of the most popular athletes in the history of Chicago sports. The beloved Stan Makita is the subject of a new book. Forever a Blackhawk is filled with family photos and pictures from throughout his long career. It's the story of Stan's life as told to veteran Chicago sports writer Bob Verdi. And what a life it's been. He's a true legend of the game. Stan Makita has a statue in his honor outside the United Center now. In a sport known for power and muscle, and yes, all-out brawls, Stan's calling cards were skill, style, and finesse. He was the ultimate gentleman on ice. But that wasn't always the case. Small as he was, Makita still liked the bang and bruise, until he experienced what he called a life-changing moment early in his pro career. We came home from New York one, one morning uh, after we played there, and she came running out of the house and down the, down the stoop. And, Daddy, 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 Mommy let me watch the first period of last night. She said, you were so good. I said, well, thank you, honey. But, uh, she said, I said, well, you look a little you know, nervous. What's the matter? She said, well, there's one thing I couldn't understand. She said, when that guy with the stripes blew his whistle, she said, why was it that Uncle Bobby and Uncle Kenny and Uncle Ab, they skated over across the ice and sit with their friends? And you had to skate all the way across and sit by yourself. She said, why did you do that? And I almost cried because out of a six, seven-year-old, she knew better than I did. Makita went on to star for the Hawks for more than 20 years. He won all the biggest NHL awards many times, including most valuable player, scoring champion, and outstanding sportsman. Not bad for an eight-year-old kid his aunt and uncle took from post-World War II communist Czechoslovakia to a new life in Canada. For about uh, the first uh, 20 years, after I left, and my mother, especially my real mother, she came over a number of times, including our wedding and so on. And uh, for years, she would just look at me and say, Stanley, are you happy? Yeah. And, and, uh, and I'm thinking to myself, happiness is a family. And we, we started to grow a nice large one, four kids with nine grandchildren now. But uh, she, she came through for the last time to be in Canada and the States. And she said, I think we made the right choice. So when your mother can say that, that means a hell of a lot. Stan Makita, he's as nice as they come. His legion of fans will be happy to know he's made a speedy recovery from throat cancer surgery in May. He's in remission and feeling fine. Family has always been number one with Stan. Ask him which of the dozens of awards and honors he's most proud of, and he'll tell you what means the most to him is being a good husband and father although he's still proud that Mike Myers wanted him to be in the Wayne's World movie, <laughs> which introduced him to a whole new generation of fans.